Welcome to Amity Island, New England. Over the body of water that made our entire country afraid to go in the water. Now just make sure you remain seated, keep those hands on, and feet and legs in, inside. Okay, that's a large shark, and that's Officer Bob. He, he's got to see the shark, right? I mean, that thing is huge. How do, he doesn't see the shark. Hold on, I'm going to see if I get his attention. Hey, Bob! Bob! There's a shark on your left! Oh, come on, Bob! You're on your left! Oh! So what Bob is doing right now is employing his self-defense tactics against the shark. Yeah, it's called bleeding on the shark, and it always works. There's only one problem, though. Bob can only do it once. Yeah, there he goes. So right, though, folks, we are going to do something totally safe. We are going to duck behind this dock full of flammable chemicals, because nothing could possibly go wrong with that planet, folks. Something went wrong with that plan. Okay, the shark is now tearing the dock apart. We got fuel spraying everywhere. Thanks for being right. Well, now the dock is on fire. That's a good sign, right? At least there's no sign of the shark. That's the only thing that can make this worse right now. <laughs> oh, it's the simple things in life. Folks, allow me to introduce my co-star for this part of the adventure. That was Bruce, the mechanical shark, everybody. That's right, he does have a proper name. His name is Bruce. He was named after the original mechanical shark for the production jaws, who got his name from Steven Spielberg's lawyer, Bruce Springer. You guys can guess why. Anybody else remember another shark named Bruce, though? Do you guys remember the movie Finding Nemo? Fish are friends, not food. He was also named after our shark, Bruce. Kind of a nice little inside industry dog. Now as we come around the corner, you guys want to see Bruce, why Bruce is so cool and why we talk so much about him? Check it out. He's the only shark in captivity that can do the backstroke. Yeah. He looks pretty fake when we watch him do that, though, right? I mean, even I can admit that. But I'll tell you, that shark has got one major thing going for him. The original shark did not. He actually works. Yeah, see, the original shark was never tested in salt water, and then they made the movie in the Atlantic Ocean. So on the very first day they put Bruce in the water, they turned on the shark, his mechanisms failed, and he sank all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Jaws was supposed to take 57 days to make. It took 157. That meant they missed their opening day of December 1974. Give that a moment to sink in, folks. Jaws was originally intended as a Christmas movie. Yeah, they released it, though, in June of 1975, and in June of 75, no one released movies in June. Everyone was at the beach. The day after Joe's released, the beaches were empty and the movie theaters were full. That's right, everyone. On your right, that's Miss Mona's Chicken Ranch from the best little whorehouse in Texas. It was also the Firefly Estate in the House of a Thousand Corpses. It was the home of John Travolta in the film Shout, the home of Beethoven and his family in the Beethoven's second film. It was also used in an episode of Quantum Leap that was the uh, home of the Monsters in the 1313 Mockingbird Lane reboot, starring Brendan Fraser in a vacation destination for the Desperate Housewives. Now, of all the odd places that's been over the years, the one that makes the least sense is the vacation destination for the Nesbitt Housewives. Because why would you vacation there?